Hi everyone, I'm Pat Prokop out here in the heavenly backyard garden. I have to hang my head down low because I screwed up big time. I let the uh, rig here get caught in a cable snag and I wasn't monitoring it. And usually the cable snag ends up with a uh, well, a rotten cable. Afterwards, the, the uh, cable is destroyed, and this is the case. Uh, this cable here is destroyed. Now, here's the problem. I was connected to the computer up here to the mount over here. Yeah, the mount. This is the AQR6R uh, Pro, EQ6R Pro, and what happened was the torque on the uh, mount itself ripped this cable out of its port but it didn't just rip out the cable, it ripped out the port. So basically the port now is dead and I cannot communicate with the mount through my computers. So I thought, oh my gosh, I destroyed the mount. So I, I started doing some checking. I did go online and I did find a replacement motherboard. I figured I blew out the motherboard because I couldn't communicate at all uh, with the computer, even through the handset. Uh, the handset would work, but I couldn't communicate through the handset itself. So uh, I found this motherboard, and of all places, in Germany. I figured, oh my gosh, this is gonna take weeks to get here in Savannah, Georgia, on the southeast coast of the United States. So I ordered it on uh, Sunday night. And lo and behold, Wednesday afternoon, <laughs> just two days later, it was here in my hands. So, uh, you know, Sometimes it, coming up from New Jersey down to Savannah takes a week. From Germany to Savannah, this took two and a half days basically to get here. So I'm very pleased about that. The question is, is this the problem? Will this motherboard replace uh, the malfunction of this motherboard that I probably blew out uh, when I ripped that cable out? Because the port itself is just shredded. It probably shorted out itself, maybe blowing out portions of the motherboard. Anyway, let's put this one on. So the first thing I gotta do is take this one off. But before I take it off, I'm gonna take, well, as soon as I take it off, I'm gonna take pictures on the inside just to make sure that I know how the wiring is connected. There's a lot of uh, connections to go on, uh, the right ascension and the declination, and then I have other ports I need to fill in. And which port goes, and which plug goes into which port? Well, I do have an instruction set. Now, the initial instruction set came in, well, German. <laughs> but the, uh, the visual, uh, uh, instruction set that was basically in English. It's in any, any language. It's all basically just uh, views, but it does have English words to it, so I'm, I'm pleased about that. So let's take off the old plate and put on the new plate and see what happens. First thing I need is a Phillips head screwdriver. There's four screws here in the corners. You don't want to take these screws out here because those connect to the motherboard. Uh, or actually those connect the motherboard to the plate here. Well, I want to take these four screws off here in the corner. So let's do that. I got a big towel below me in case I drop anything. But uh, I got a bucket here to put the screws in. All right, that part is done. And there's the motherboard coming out. There's not much play in here. There's some tight wires involved. Um, I just took a picture, and this is the picture of the inside, and uh, I can see the right ascension and the declination motors here, uh, and uh, okay, now the next thing I got to do is replace these cables, uh, pull one out on one and put it in on the other, so let me get the other one. All right, I got my needle nose plier, and this one here comes out. Pull that out, comes right out. They have it wrapped around. And that was in the second position there. So here's the, uh, here's the diagram, it's in English, that's good. Um, so this is the EQ6R Pro motherboard here. So that wire I just took out is the right ascension worm. So that will go in All right, I got the plate in. It took a little effort to get the pins out, but I got them back in. Uh, I just plugged in the uh, uh, scan hand controller to see if this works. Let's look. There's the right ascension. That's working. And let's put it back. And the declination. Let's see if that works. Declination is working through the hand control. 
All right, so far so good. I'm gonna disconnect the hand controller right here. I don't have everything on tight yet. And I just plugged in the USB to the computer. So let's go inside and see if the uh, inside works, if the computer itself works with the USB connection here. All right. All right, the first thing I want to do is look at the device manager on the computer, and it does show the three ports available. So this, I believe here at COM port 9, is the, uh, the mount itself. So let's go into Nina and see if I can contact uh, with the mount with uh, EQ Mod. Right here. All right, uh, let's go into EQ Mod settings right here. All right, let's go into EQ Mod. All right, and let's see if it can do, a, see if it finds support. Found it on number nine. So, son of a gun, it works. There we go. All right, so let's connect it and see. There I am right there. All right, and we're looking at the mount right now. So let's uh, see if we can move it in the uh, north and south and east and west directions here. So let's see if it's moving. And see if it's moving. All right. Let me take a look at the mount itself. Did it move? It did. All right. I'm happy. All right, let's put it back. Let's just park it back. It might not know where park is because it's a new um, motherboard. No, it's doing pretty good. All right, so far so good. <laughs> now, can I keep the cables from snagging? Well, I tell you what, cable snags are a pain, but this one was a costly pain, $289 to get that new motherboard. But that's a lot better than buying a whole new mount at $2,500. All right. All right, now I have to do is just put the final four screws or three screws in to uh, secure the system and then set the cables so it won't get a snag. So I'm ready to run and roll with the uh, fixed telescope with the EQ6R Pro mount and the Orion Eon 130mm refractor. Uh, for a while there, for about 10 days, this was just sitting on itself uh, with no place to go, dead in the water. But now it's back floating and ready for astrophotography. <laughs> Clouds. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.